Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today we are going to be looking at the internals of a P43S. This computer has been on my radar for a little while. Uh, I really like the way it looks uh, with the current gen of um, T-Series. This shares that same chassis as the T-Series but has a little bit different specs. And we'll go into that when I do a full review of it. Uh, but it came comes in slightly under the price of the of a similar spec to T series, and so uh, it definitely seemed like good value for money at the time, and so I definitely wanted to do a review on it. But first and foremost, like I do with just about every laptop I get, I've opened it up so we can look at the internals and see what we have going on here. Now this laptop does have the uh, onboard memory of 16 gigs, as well as uh, another 16 gig dim here that's where the memory is there's no shield over it uh, we do have our NVMe SSD here this one has a 512 gig uh, SSD I did buy this one used so um, did not buy this one directly from Lenovo because I was able to get a pretty good deal on the price of this one I uh, have our CPU our GPU um, this is actually where the speakers are so normally with Lenovo's for years the speakers have been either along this front edge where obviously the battery is now or here on the side uh, and they would be down or firing um, and when they switch from the T430 to the 440 is when that happened uh, prior to that they were forward facing and downward facing speakers never sound as good as ones that actually point towards you and so this is a nice change and they definitely sound good we'll cover that like I said in a full review of the video also be doing some comparison against my 25th anniversary ThinkPad and deciding which one I'm going to keep because I can't have both of these they're both very expensive <laughs> laptops uh, and they're worth about the same amount of money so uh, one or the other and we'll make that decision uh, but uh, here is where you would have your WAN card, it does have a slot for it, but it does not have the card itself. Uh, this is your, your wireless, so that it's not upgradable. Um, you have Ethernet, so this is where your Ethernet port is, with a little cable going into the motherboard. Um, and that's really it. Uh, I'm kind of interested to, to know what would go here. There's a little uh, plug here. Um, and obviously it has a nice big battery on here. That's internal. One thing that's kind of funny that <clears throat> I've never thought about before, but with the switch to these internal batteries, the case you can see just right here is a little hole, and right underneath that hole is this, which is a reset button. If the, the laptop ever hangs, obviously you unplug the power, and nothing's going to happen because you're going to have battery power. So you reset, push this reset button. All it does is disconnect the. Uh, laptop battery from the system board briefly to reset the system. So I thought that was kind of funny. And that's really it. I mean, with these new systems, there's very little that's upgradable, very little that, that you can swap out. Uh, it has a nice big fan with a uh, nice big heat sink and, and heat pipes there for the video and graphics cards. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, and, and a, lot, a whole lot you can do with it once you get it. Obviously, you can swap out your storage. And your, uh, you can upgrade your memory a little bit. Of course, this already has 32 gigs. Uh, I don't know. Can you get a 32 gig DIMM currently for a reasonable price uh, in DDR4? That'd be the only real upgrade you could do. Is going from uh, 16 to this has 32 with that. What the math be on that? 16 plus 32 would be uh, 48 gigs of RAM. Um, so there's that. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.